What is up guys? This is Barney and oh my goodness it feels so good to be back. First I want to apologize for the lack of videos lately but you know life comes first and I was working on my university dissertation and I've also got lots of projects going on which I should be happy about because you know more work means more money but it also means that I have less time for my channel but I'm finally back to normal and I promise I'll, I'm gonna upload at least two videos a week uh, on a regular basis. Uh, what I've got for you today is uh, some pure team deathmatch on launch and the reason why I'm playing pure team deathmatch is because I've just prestiged yesterday and uh, not having all of my previously unlocked weapons, uh, kill streaks, attachments and perks uh, makes it a lot harder to kill enemies who have unlocked all of these things uh, in normal lobbies. Uh, and in these early levels it is a lot easier to rank up fast uh, uh, in barebones playlist so that's why I'm playing this game right now and it is also a lot of fun because uh, not having uh, all the kill streaks and claymores and things like that uh, brings back uh, all the memories from uh, Call of Duty 2 where you know it was just straight up gun versus gun fights and uh, not about uh, who can place claymores in, in smarter positions uh, and also uh, I want to discuss kill streaks for a second because uh, I've already got used to them obviously but uh, they are still not uh, a favorite part of the game for me to say the least because just the basic concept of kill streaks baffle me uh, basically uh, if you are so good that you're able to get uh, 8 10 15 kills in a row without dying uh, it means that you're either camping in a corner or that you are much better than the enemy players and then the game rewards that uh, with tools that allow you to kill them even easier I mean, I'm not sure that uh, goes a long way of balancing the teams. But anyways, what can you do? Uh, fortunately, Back Ops is a very, very well-balanced game. Uh, the weapon selection is probably the most balanced uh, I've seen in a first-person shooter in a long time. Uh, it's not realistic by any means, but at least SMGs have very, very limited range. Uh, burst fire and, and single shot assault rifles uh, are accurate on longer ranges. Fully automatic assault rifles are mostly good on middle ranges. And uh, that uh, makes the people uh, facing a hard decision uh, in the weapon selection because you know they, they have to decide what kind of weapon they're going to use and they have to uh, form their tactics accordingly because you cannot engage uh, in long-range fights with an SMG because you are just not gonna be able to, to kill enemies and one thing that I've learned during two weeks of playtime with this game is that you have to let a lot of enemies go because even with, with an M16 uh, most of the time you're not gonna be able to kill them on long ranges it may not be accurate again but uh, this is how the game plays and it is actually a lot of fun and uh, a huge improvement over Modern Warfare 2 where all of the weapons were basically rail guns with no recoil whatsoever. So I'm, I'm really liking uh, the way Treyarch uh, has gone in a different direction. Uh, and I also like that they got rid of stopping power one man army and commando, but uh, speaking of commando it looks like that everyone has uh, sort of commando by default. Uh, well, at least everyone has it, and you can get used to the system, I'm not gonna rant about it, uh, even though sometimes the launch on the knife can be obnoxiously long, but you can use it as well, so why, why not? And uh, the recoil is the funniest thing in this game, because it is probably... Uh, the, the biggest recoil I've seen in any game is in Black Ops. And that is funny, especially after Modern Warfare 2. And I think that most, uh, even even the hardcore Modern Warfare 2 uh, and Call of Duty fans were in for a shock when they first booted up this game the, to see the, the amount of recoil. And uh, that was huge. Getting a 20 man kill streak without any kill streaks, if you know what I mean, that, that is just huge. <laughs> That's what she said. Well, at least for me, because uh, it's unusual for me to get such a long pierce streak. 
especially without the use of, of a chopper gun or anything like that. Uh, another thing is twitch stroping uh, and uh, even though I don't agree with JD uh, when he said that twitch stroping is a cheap tactic so they had to get rid of it uh, I think it wasn't a cheap tactic it was just very much overused in Modern Warfare 2 they should have just gone back to to what the sniping uh, technique was in Cut 4 I think that uh, that was a good balance between uh, uh, sniping that requires skill and, and fun sniping because right now sniping is not fun at all in this game it is just so hard to kill enemies uh, most of the shots are not gonna be one hit kills uh, and it takes freaking ages to, to aim down your sight so uh, I do not recommend using any of the sniper rifles and I have no idea what these guys were doing here, they were probably jerking off because they were just freaking oblivious to my presence, but anyways, moving on to the lag. Uh, I'm not going to talk about the lag right now because uh, it's a very very important topic and it can be a game breaker sometimes in Call of Duty and I will dedicate a complete uh, commentary for, for lag, for the topic of lag. Uh, and. Uh, the next thing I wanted to ask from you guys is uh, because you know I was playing Counter Strike for nine years. Uh, I really, really love Search and Destroy and Call of Duty. Unfortunately, not many of my friends uh, like to play that game mode, and playing Search and Destroy with randoms is just a pain in the ass. You know, uh, without any teamwork and having to listen to all of the 12 year old morons uh, screaming in the mic is not what I consider fun but if you are willing to invest some time in developing strategies and playing uh, search and destroy seriously then uh, I would like to ask you to send me a message and I made sure to get in some games together with you uh, the last thing I wanted to say is that because Black Ops is actually very very fun and I'm really enjoying it uh, I didn't have high expectations for the game, but uh, it turned out to be a really good game. I'm gonna be playing it uh, at least until uh, Vietnam comes out and map patch 7. So uh, tell me guys what you want to see. I have some good Black Ops and Bad Company 2 gameplays as well. I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, I'll talk to you soon. Cheers, bye.